Okay, so before you yell, yes, this video was inspired by one that Oscar did about a week ago. So what basically happened is this video popped up in my recommended. I saw that and I thought, you know, I do a lot of no recoil videos, but I don't always use stuff that I know that people use. Because some people will post things like, oh, use M4A1 with 40 times or whatever. And it's like, that doesn't exist. So these people are just kind of throwing attachments together. Not always, but sometimes. So I thought I will directly go off of what people personally use. So first here, we have a guy who says that he uses the KSG with birdshot suppressor, vertical grip, green laser, and hip fire. Yes, I know you always yell at me about using vertical grip with hip fire. I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the wrong loadout, oops. That's the right loadout. So okay, he wants me to hip fire with this. This is a pretty decently ranged map, so. Okay, okay, I could see this. Maybe not the best map for this, but okay. It's a little bit hard for me to just use only hip fire because I'm so accustomed to just like holding down right click and like death gripping my mouse whenever I'm trying to aim. But I think that I can make this work. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> rank one with the MG42. I hope he's having a good time. Can I not get... Help! 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 There we go. The windows are trying to engage me. I really do like the KSG. I'm surprised that I don't really use it too much more. It's a good gun. Honestly, man, this is, if this is like, I mean, I, I did ask for their loadout, so I'd assume that this is his. Honestly, dude, like if you use this, this is not a bad option for like KSG. I mean, it's all pretty low, like level attachments too. So if you're a newer player or somebody who doesn't use it much, you could probably easily save up for this stuff. Why is my KSG red? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to stop questioning things. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is actually super good. All right, here's another one. This guy uses Scarl with Coyote Sight Compensator, Folding Grip, Blue Laser, and 9mm. So, obviously, this isn't supposed to be a no-recoil setup. This is just, you know, raining on what stuff people... Uh, hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be a no-recoil setup video thing. This is just, you know, seeing how well people's setups work in the real world. Or in the Phantom Forces world, I guess. <laughs> so, I use 9mm actually on the Scar Hammer of all things. I know that that's probably a very strange thing to do. Well, you know, if you saw my setup, you'd know. Three, two, one, go! Okay. All right, hold on a minute. Let me just recalibrate my brain so I can actually hit my shots real fast. Nope, my brain just doesn't want to do it today. <laughs> it decided to nap. I mean, it's pretty accurate, but the 9mm is really low damage on this. I mean, 33 rounds total should be more than enough for me to get mad kills, but, you know... Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's fine if it's your, you know, in your use case. I mean, you might be more accurate than I am. But, like, this is really, really low damage for something like this. I mean, the scar is pretty accurate just on its own. You don't need a 9mm conversion to make it more accurate. Here, let me see. Hold up. Yeah, like, this is still really accurate. Just without the, without the 9mm conversion. Can I... Dude, why can't I kill anybody? <laughs> the scar knows I don't like it, and it just refuses to work. At least that's the excuse that I'm going with. Yeah, like, I mean, this is fine without the 9mm conversion. But hey, man, if this is your personal setup and you enjoy it, I mean, who am I to judge? Here's one. I've said this before. You really never see people use the PP-19, so I thought this is kind of a thing I have to try. From a person who uses the PP-19 actively. Assuming that this guy actually has used this more than once. <laughs> All right, so this guy wants us to use Reflex Compensator, Folding Grip, and Full Stock, which is something I didn't even know existed on the Bison. Ooh, what was that? Since when can the Bison do damage? What? <laughs> Hello? Holy crap, is the Bison good? Uh oh, the Bison might actually be decent. Is this an underrated gun? You know... I've thought before that people make some questionable loadouts, considering some of the comments that I get on my no recoil videos about just all kinds of just weird stuff that people leave. But you know what? I think I underestimated your ability to make good loadouts. You guys have honestly made some pretty cool stuff so far. Onto a gun that I actually quite like. <laughs> Ouch. Anyway, <laughs> so this guy says HK416 with the OPK7, long barrel, which I didn't know existed for this, folding grip, full stock, and armor piercing. Armor piercing is a bit of a weird choice on this, to be honest. But what do I know? Ooh, me like this gun. Honestly, man, you can't really go wrong with this gun. I mean, this thing is like a blowtorch to a cockroach. 
just just shredding everything. I personally prefer muzzle booster on this. But like, you know, long barrel seems to be working fine. I'm surprised because I, I didn't even know that this existed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the HK416 is pretty self-explanatory for anybody who's used it before. It's really good. Okay, so this guy has his all out of order here. So it took me it took me a few seconds to go through this. But he says, Vector, with Compensator Stubby Grip, Remove Stock, and 22 Conversion. So for those of you who don't know... Oh my god, what is that? So for those of you who don't know, the 22 Conversion is essentially supposed to be... Pretty much just a headshot multiplier thing. So I will either do a ton of damage or no damage. And I only get 10 rounds to do it. I'm already not liking this. I don't know why they wouldn't give you more ammo for this. I mean, this thing is just, you know... Oh, oh, geez. Okay. Maybe you don't need more ammo for this. Hold on a second. This guy might be onto something here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing does no damage. This thing does no damage. I would not remotely want to use this myself. But like, it does, it does kill things. Not many things, but it does. Oh my gosh, dude, actually. I mean, it, it functions. I can't really say it doesn't. But it just, just what a weird setup though. 22 on a vector. If it works for you though, man, I mean, props to you. A honey badger setup. Why is this orange? Why? So this guy wants me to put a reflex sight, long barrel, stubby grip, full stock, and default ammo on a honey badger. Oh man, why do I run so slow with this? Oh man. Okay, I have not used the honey badger in a minute. Well, actually quite longer than a minute, to be honest. Actually multiple weeks, for that matter. Just give me a second to get back into my groove here. And there we go, we're good. We're good to go, boys. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm running so slow with it. I don't remember moving this slow with the honey badger. Maybe it's something with the full stock, though. I don't really use that on the honey badger. What? <laughs> the standoff of the century. What a bunch of lads. I mean, yeah, this is fine. I mean, it's just like mostly a pretty normal, you know, lower recoil honey badger setup. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too out of the normal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, solid, solid setup. I don't like moving as slow as I do with this. I think that that might be, like I said earlier, to, due to the full stock or something. I'm not sure. If you guys could let me know, I'd like to know. It is my time to shine, says this man right here. Oh boy, we're on to an HK21 setup. All right. Coyote sight. Moozle break. Canted furrow sight. I can't afford that. And AP. Okay. Time to go sell some more stuff. So what is his reasoning for using the Candid Furrow Sight? Because he needs an anime babe to support him and it makes him play better. To each his own, man. You know, I'm gonna use this. I've actually never seen the Candid Furrow Sight before on a gun, like that I'm using, I should say. Jeez, man. You know what? It's working. Who am I to complain? It's working. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I can't really complain. I don't use the HK21 too much, and if I do, I usually use it with a controller because the side-to-side -side recoil is just everywhere. So I'm surprised, honestly, that this is, you know, actually pretty good. I'm surprised. Very rarely do I actively enjoy using an HK21 setup on PC. Or mouse and keyboard, I mean. You know, if you're watching this, man, I'm curious. How did you get the site? Did you did you save up enough kills for this? Or did you just, like, buy this? Because th this is expensive. That's a lot of levels. <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to judge. You do you, man. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. But like, I can't imagine, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't check how many kills that requires, but that's more than the Animu site, which is 6,700. I can't imagine anyone using the HK21 that much. I don't know, you do you, man, if you're happy. Well, ladies and germs, I've kind of run out of uh, things to go off of here. I tried to pick attachments that I haven't really, or setups that I haven't really used attachments for in the past. And it was pretty nice to actually see what type of stuff that uh, that people use. Just, you know, average Phantom Forces Joes. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I actually opened up a video suggestions chat in my Discord server. So if you guys would like to join that, it's linked below. And you guys could post video suggestions, and potentially I can do them. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my Roblox shirts linked in the description below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stay safe.